originally introduced as a remedy for struggling restaurants during the COVID pandemic. To-go cocktails turned out to be a lifeline for establishments facing financial hardship. Kevil Graham of Caribbean restaurant Kokomo says that law, along with other measures, helped bring in much needed revenue. You know, during COVID, uh, I think we had to be as creative as possible. I think out the outside seating helped us a lot, the roadside seating and the ability to have to go uh, drinks, cocktails was a plus for us because it was uh, a way to bring people to the restaurant. Governor Hochul is proposing the law become permanent as part of this year's budget, citing its success for bars and restaurants. Graham is embracing that push after he says he saw a 15 to 20 percent spike in liquor sales. Just having this uh, different way of bringing money in and helping restaurants out in that time was very pivotal. Um, it was gave us a little bit of hope. <laughs> it helped us uh, pay some of our staff. When first enacted, the law initially allowed restaurants to sell alcohol by the bottle, a measure that saw pushback from liquor store lobbyists who felt the law was encroaching on their business. Michael Carrera heads the Metropolitan Package Store Association. That is direct competition putting us out of business. We're at a distinct disadvantage because I certainly can't go and sell food to turn into a food restaurant. The law has since been changed, only allowing restaurants to sell to-go cocktails. Carrera is championing the law. We look at it and I look at it is that this is something that's a, 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 a something we could all live with, we could all work together with. And frankly, uh, as long as it's regulated properly, Now, the current law is set to expire next year. Governor Hochul and state lawmakers are discussing its extension as part of ongoing budget negotiations, which could be finalized as soon as next month.